Hey kids, it's Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. And welcome back aboard my brand new Kawasaki Z900 RS SE for what is gonna be my first proper wet ride on the bike. I'm uh, off to meet my friends Jeff and Dan for another episode of Biker Scrans. So uh, I thought I'd show them the new bike. And also just give it uh, a bit of a test, pop a few more miles on as I run her in. So stick around, stay tuned. Let's see what uh, today brings. Okay, so welcome back to the channel in the middle of this glorious British summer we're having. This is the sort of weather that we've had this year. Absolutely atrocious. It's not particularly cold, it's about uh, 18, 19 degrees centigrade. But just look at these roads, absolutely filthy wet. In fact, let me give you a little wipe. I'm hoping you can, uh, you can see okay. And uh, whilst I would rather not be out riding in the wet, I'd rather it was a lovely, sunny, warm, dry day. Sometimes you don't get the choice, do you? And uh, I'm afraid my beautiful Kawasaki is gonna get absolutely covered in filth. But it was inevitable that was going to happen. I'm just going to have to give her a, a wash at some point. I've already cleaned it once since I've had it, so we'll definitely be getting a good clean after this. It's ironic because uh, one of the things that many people said I should buy for the bike are fender extenders. And uh, I think last time I spoke about the bike, I said I had them in order. Well, they came this morning, would you believe? <laughs> and uh, I thought, oh, I'll quickly put those on before I do this ride just to protect the bike before it gets all cruddy underneath, particularly the headers at the front of the engine. Uh, but unfortunately, the particular accessories I bought, uh, you can put the attachment two ways. You can either drill holes in your original mud guards and bolt them on effectively, or you can stick them on with sticky pads. So I want to go with the sticky pad option, but they take 24 hours to cure when they're clamped up, and you have to take the mud guards off to do that. So, so I'm going to have to do that at a later date. So today I'm just going to have to accept that the bike is going to throw crud all over itself and probably me. We'll have a look at the end of the journey, perhaps and uh, see how cruddy she gets without the fender extenders. So that's a bit of a nuisance. And the other thing I haven't yet got is any sort of uh, storage for the bike in terms of carrying my camera kit, which of course I have to do. And uh, again, I've had loads of recommendations for bits of kit. So thank you for those. Current front runners are, I think they're called the Classic Range from uh, Moto something. I can't remember what the make of them is, but I'll, I'll put it on the screen. Uh, they make a, uh, what look like some pretty good bags of different types for this type of bike, retro themed and a very subtle carrier. That and the uh, Hepco and Becker ones I like the look of as well, but they're super expensive, so we'll see how that goes. Lots of people said don't put any bags on, just carry a rucksack. Well, I could do that, but I just, uh, I'm not a big fan of riding, ruck, uh, of riding with rucksacks. So I'm gonna see if I can get some fairly subtle panniers that hopefully are shower proof and lockable so that when I'm out riding and filming I can carry my kit and also perhaps do the old tour with those as well so stay tuned for how that goes and then the other thing that today's a first about is uh, riding with these OEM tyres in the wet everybody said these uh, Dunlop OEM tyres that come on the bike are okay but uh, can be a bit squirrel in the wet this is my first experience of riding them in proper slippery conditions we'll see how that goes as well so far they seem okay, but I've obviously not been pushing on. Anyway, so that's uh, some updates on the bike. What are we up to today as far as the biker scram with Jeff and Dan is concerned? Well, we're off to Pat's Baps, as promised. I think its official name is actually the Cotswold Calf. It's in Morton in the Marsh in the Cotswolds. But it's lovely out the Cotswolds, I love it out there. We're gonna be meeting up in uh, Woodstock, which again, a little bit of serendipity. We met there I think last year for a Barker's Ground when I was borrowing one of these Z900 RS's and that was kind of the ride, might have even been earlier this year, that was the ride that sort of finally sold the bike to me and made me think, you know, I'm going to have to get one of those. So, uh, yeah, meeting up at Woodstock at half past 11. It's about quarter past 10 now. Hopefully I won't be late because those guys never are. Oh, the other thing you might have noticed on the handlebars here, look, I'm using my little um, Beeline nav device thing that is just perfect for retro bikes. I've had this for ages, you may have seen my video on it some years ago. It's not a fully function sat nav, but it is quite good just to get you to places. On this bike it's great, because it just blends in on the handlebars, it's not obtrusive looking, it's not a big sat nav sat there. And uh, it saves you mounting your phone on the handlebars and getting loads of vibration, that sort of thing. So uh, 
and also it being yellow my beeline is anyway uh, it goes rather well with a bike so I'm, I'm a fan of that on these sort of bikes so that's what that is if people are asking it's actually been driven off my phone I'll put a link in the corner just on my little video on how that works all right so I'm going cross country towards Oxford I'll speak to you when we're a bit further on right well I've made it into Oxfordshire I'm glad to say the rain has eased off a little bit it's just a bit damp now I've uh, come across my first white van of the day I've in fact got I think three or possibly four white vans ahead of me so uh, all is well in the TMF world love a white van me as you know I forgot to mention uh, I'm running in the bike as uh, you may recall and this bike needs to be taken for its first service at 600 miles so uh, when I'd done about 350 I thought I'm getting close now so I better phone up and book her up for a uh, for its first service so I phoned up the dealer I bought it from and uh, tried to get it booked in unfortunately they don't have any slots for about another three weeks which is annoying because I've got a big ride planned at the weekend which is uh, going to put on an, about another 250 miles so I, I asked if uh, the warranty would be okay if I've gone way over 600 miles by the time that I get the bike booked in and they basically said well try not to ride it too much so <laughs> So that's uh, not particularly helpful, we shall see, hopefully the warranty won't be affected because I suspect it will be over 600 miles, I'll try it, I'll try not to make it hugely so, but uh, anyway, we shall see, I shall keep you appraised on that one, so that was slightly annoying. And I remember the name of those bags I was trying to think of, by the way, it was SW Motec, they're the ones that look quite good, they're classic range I think it is, they've got quite subtle um, racks so that when you take the bags off the bike looks alright, so uh, they're the sort of front runners at the moment. Right, just coming up to Tame, probably about another 20 minutes to Oxford and then maybe another quarter of an hour after that to Woodstock to meet with the guys. Right, so I've just pulled over into this lay-by to take a look at the bike and see what the crud situation is so far and uh, check out the amount of rubbish it throws up over the back. Look, the seat is quite covered and uh, yeah, the back end, what a nightmare. This really upsets me. Had I had that hugger on there, it would have possibly saved all that. Let's have a look around the front end, see how the pipes are faring. Uh, yeah, chucking it up. There's my uh, radiator guard, which thank goodness I got fitted in time. Uh, but look, the headers are getting a real, a real hammering. So uh, yeah, guess what I'm going to be doing very soon. Right, onwards. All right, just coming up to the uh, horrible bits of the outskirts of uh, Oxford. I say that, I've been worse places, but I don't like this particular part of the ride. But uh, another 20 minutes or so. And we should be up in uh, Woodstock. Right, I've made it to the environs of Woodstock. And uh, according to the clock, it's 11.08. So I'm uh, pleasantly early, which makes a change for me. I always feel embarrassed that I'm always the last one at these meetups. And I pride myself on being on time and places. These guys are always there early. Anyway, let's see if I'm the first one there. Point of interest, just as we uh, ride into Woodstock, this on the left here with the fancy gates, is Blenheim Palace. Which I think... Uh, my history's rubbish, but something to do with Winston Churchill. I think he was born there, actually. I've got a feeling he was born there. I've got a feeling he might be buried in a church nearby as well. Anyway, I digress. Let's find the gents in the town square somewhere. Not the gents, the my pals, you know, you know what I mean. Am I the first of us to the town square? No, I'm not. Bother. Geoffrey made it first good man good day sir good boy. how are you well. <laughs> very well thank you I wonder whether you'd come on the new one oh it's got to be uh, done hasn't it whether it was too shitty wet and horrible well look at it now I know. this is a two-week-old motorcycle look at the state of the headers I know. right so I've got my other mic out so uh, welcome Jeff to Bikers Ground with Jeff and Dan which you star in so what the hell, what the hell am i Without talking about Dan. anyway <laughs> so we had a bit of a chat but we'll do it again what do you think to me new bike then oh it's the uh, it's the caps what's his name it's it, the is, Billy's, it? it uh, is doodars do you like the color i do i do it's um i mean it's just magnificent so if it was yours what extras would you add the grab rail right it's got to have the grab rail yeah why is that then well, because it's, it harks back to the original, doesn't it? And it just sets off the rear end. You see, everybody says about how this harks back to the original. That's the Z1, isn't it? Yes. See, that was before my time. You see, this is outrageous. I love the bike as it looks. And I don't, I, I know nothing about the Z1. <laughs> Mozart was before my time, but I like his music. <laughs> <laughs> you can't argue with that, can you? <laughs> excellent, excellent. So, uh, yeah, maybe I'll have another think about the grab rail. Yeah, then. I think it's a good idea. 
Lovely chrome grab rail. Yeah, just finished that off. What do you think about me dirt on the bike, though, Jeff, eh? I know, I know. It's unusual for you, that is. I know, it's You've not good. You've got time to clean it before Dan gets here. I could do. Where is he? I thought he'd be here early. This is outrageous, isn't I it? I know. Well, it was you who delayed it, mate, wasn't it? I know, yeah. I know. And here you are early. I know. Well... That's why you delayed it, wasn't it? Well, it's sort of part of it, to be honest, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually part of that. <laughs> it looks really, really well. And, and to be fair, although it's a claggy day, yep. that bit is nice and clean. The headers are always going to cop it. Yeah. Because of these shorty mud guards. I have bought a longer mud guard, but uh, to fit them, you have to drill the originals or use sticky pads. So I uh, thought, I thought yeah, I'd yeah. go with the sticky pads option. Yeah, the fender flicks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm going to do the sticky pads thing, but it takes 24 hours to cure, yeah. and they only turned up this morning. Right, okay. So I didn't That's have a no chance. Then, yeah, yeah, exactly. Because exactly. I thought so about a bit that with this. Yeah. I put the hugger on the back, and I thought about the, the um, fender flick on that. Yep. Because it's got exactly the same problem. Yeah. Although not quite, because it comes oh, down yeah, a little it's very bit. Very clean further. on your radiators. Yeah, it's not. It's not been too bad considering I came through the wet this morning. But so, how, how are you getting on generally? Because this is new to you as well, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it is. Um, I, I've not ridden it as much as I would have liked. For how many, one do you know how many miles so far? Uh, just under two thousand. Oh, well, it's about seventeen. Not bad though. I mean, you've like only that. had it a couple of months. Yeah, you? I mean, there's there's a lot to like about it. Let's be fair. I mean, nice yeah. little touches like these, these little cranked. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, trying to get, when you're at home, checking check your tyre pressures. We have done them this time. Uh, actually, I, uh, <laughs> no. God, I'm rubbish at this. <laughs> trying to get your, your foot pump onto the straight yes. valves. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. Know, that's really nice. That like makes the all the difference. Cruise control, you know. You can, yep. Yep. It, you, can, you can just relax a little bit on the motorway. If you're on the motorway, just give your hand a bit of a rest. Yeah, tell yeah, me about and it. it's, it's comfortable. They look lovely, don't they? Yeah. And we were talking actually just off camera about the engine because they've changed the firing order on yeah, these, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, So uh, I like the, the old, because I had my street triple, do you remember? Which yeah. had the, whatever the firing yeah, order yeah, was for yeah. a triple. And they've changed it now to make it more off-road, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. I think it makes it a bit lumpy. It, it certainly feels lumpy. I mean, obviously, I've just got off six years, seven years on, a, yeah. on an inline four. Yep. Um, and so it does feel lumpy and it just puts a little bit of vibration through the bars a little bit yeah. not a lot yeah it's, yeah it's not uncomfortable or anything like that but i'm getting used to it yeah you know, i think there i, didn't, are, I, ride, think I didn't ride the priest the previous one so i don't know what right. the difference is between Dan the, old had one the previous and this one. one didn't he he did yeah, yeah. He did. and yeah. i rode the previous I one in uh, thailand i did a tour yeah. there on it and yeah. i, I love that triple engine but of course i love my street triple it was the yeah. same the same engine pretty much isn't it yeah yeah, yeah. lovely bike so i do love a triumph yeah. me yeah it looks well doesn't it Right, now, me and Jeff have been having a bit of a chat, as you do, and the time is marching on. Look at this. It's, it's 20 to black pudding time. And there is absolutely no Look. sign of Dan. Where is Dan, what Dan, is the biker on? scram man? It's a mystery, mate. <sighs> he's going to have to pay for this, literally. Yes, but <laughs> maybe that's why he's not shown up. Maybe it is. But this is Pat's Baps. I looked at the menu. I know. It's, I mean, it's good value. I he should have paid for I that one at Barbary last time. I can't wait to get my laughing tackle around one of Pat's Baps. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, careful, Jeffrey. <laughs> this is not like Dan. I hope he hasn't come a cropper. Well, they've got palm trees and everything here. Down right, Dan has turned up. He's looking a bit sheepish. What have you got to say for yourself, Daniel? I've been waiting for you two yep. at our previous resort, waiting to buy you a coffee and a cookie. Oh, now we feel bad. Yeah, but to be yeah, fair, yeah, yeah. Who's the idiot no, now? No, yeah, hang on. I don't feel bad at all, because I came round that way and I didn't see it. And when you when we said we'd meet here, we said the town square. This is where we met before. Well, you, How you, do we wait, know this where, where you, the feathers is? This is where you parked illegally before when there's a traffic warden doing the rounds. Yeah. Illegally? Don't say that. Well, we didn't expect to be here this long. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't been here long at all, traffic wardens watching. Right then, what do you think of me new bike anyway, Dan? No, I'm not going to talk. No, I'm not, oh, I'm, 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 no, don't you, be you, like you, that. Don't I'm, be like that. I, it's absolutely sensational in that colour, isn't it? Wow. It's nice, isn't it? It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, I yeah. A bit of gloating on me bike. It's good, isn't it? You've, you've gone for the gold wheels. I think you've got to do that with a bike that's replicating that era. Sadly, gold wheels is what sold it to me. I love a gold mm, wheel, me. Yeah. It's covered in a bit of crud, though, so sorry about that. I apologise. It's a bit cruddy today. It is a bit. So, Pat's Baps. Tell yes. us about it. I think, I, who, who was it that uh, recommended we go to Pat's Paps? It's, it's a slightly confusing situation. I've been trying to, so I think it's part of the Cotswold Cafe. It is, yeah. which is It's called of, the Cotswold Cafe, Which is part it? of yeah. a slightly fancy group. Or there's a couple of cafes that are rather, rather, supposed to be rather good. Really? Fantastic. So we're in for a treat then. You are. Did somebody say it was my round? It yes. is, yes, I believe it is. How come we're going to the expensive one when it's... 
I thought it was quite cheap at Pat's Maps, actually. But we'll check that out. We'll check that out. So it more, depends what you have. So I, I'm glad I didn't have to buy you a coffee now. Because <laughs> I could be in for a right stinging. Because I did look at I was the literally shop sitting, out, the sitting out there. For te- that's when I texted you from there. I didn't get a text. <sighs> Mate, we did. We oh, got, did, did you put it got, on WhatsApp? Yeah. We, got, ah, we didn't. We didn't read the WhatsApp. We were too busy chatting. I'm working with amateurs. I'm afraid you are, Dan. <laughs> yes. So anyway, Mo- so it's Morton in the Marsh, isn't it? Yes. So who's leading? It depends which way you want to go there. Forward, so I thought. Yeah. We'll follow you then, shall we? Yes. Okay. Good. Onwards. <laughs> Pats, paps. Here we come. Right. Well, fancy that. Dan wasn't late at all. How could I have possibly have doubted him? We sat around the corner, ready to buy us a coffee. That was uh, terrible. I feel awful now. Anyway. Not so awful that we're getting to pay for the main meal because I'm pretty sure it's his turn. Oh, we've upset the locals of Woodstock once again. Thank you, sir or madam. So, I'm a bit concerned because I'm the only one of the three of us that isn't in the full proper waterproof kit. My jacket, which people always ask me about by the way, my jacket is uh, called the Nacho Jacket. I'll put a link below to it actually because people always ask me about this because it does look good. Uh, And it is technically waterproof as well. I'm not convinced it's as good as a proper Gore-Tex Pro jacket. But if we get uh, just a little bit of uh, light rain then I think I'll be absolutely fine in this. I've got Gore-Tex gloves on though. So hopefully all will be well. Last time I came out on a Jeff and Dan run I seem to remember it absolutely chucked it down when we went up to Bybury, up to the uh, classic car hub. I think I might have been wearing the same kit then. I'll never learn. Well, this is beautiful, isn't it, coming out of uh, Woodstock? I do love a bit of Cotswoldery. So I'm intrigued to see what uh, Pat's Baps has got to offer. Because Dan's saying he thinks it's quite an expensive joint. It can't be, surely. Not with a name like Pat's Baps, it doesn't sound like an upmarket joint, does it? We shall see. Well, technically, it's known as Pat's Baps, but it's actually the Cotswold Calf, I believe. The Dan has squirrelled us out a dry road, look at this. Life is good. Could there be an opportunity to overtake at last? Hurrah! We've been stuck behind that truck for absolutely ages and we'd had solid white lines the whole flipping way, so uh, that was the first chance we'd had to overtake. At last, we're free of the scourge of the southeast traffic. Well, at least temporarily. Aha! I recognise this road now. Over to the left is that. Uh, weird chimney thing. Uh, See if I get a view of it down here. There's some significance to it. I can't quite remember what it is, whether it's uh, part of a mill or something like that, but uh, maybe we'll get a view up here. I might have to put a picture on the screen of it to show you. Bliss Mill? Maybe that's it. There it is. Check that out. You won't be able to see it very well with the uh, GoPro I expect. There it is. Yeah, it is a mill. Cool looking place. Look at this, the sun has properly come out. This is fantastic. And a stunning view across the valley. Gorgeous. Right, it's uh, 12.14. My stomach is telling me it's time to find this place. Pat's Baps, where are you? Oh, Warwickshire, another county. Shakespeare's county, no less. Just passed a sign that said Cotswold Cafe on your left. So I'm thinking it's just here. Dan has gone past. Obviously he didn't see the sign. Here we are! Pats Baps! Brilliant. Challenging parking mind but we'll see what we can do. Well we lost Dan again! I saw the sign up there, it said Cotswold Cafe. Yeah. On the left. Yes, I saw that. And then he goes by and points at it. <laughs> right, so here we are at Pat's Baps, otherwise known as the Cotswolds Cafe. Uh, it's actually 22 degrees and the sun has come out. Look, 
it's up there and everything. Anyway, it smells fantastic in here. Let's go and see what we can find, what Jeff and Dan are up to. Here we go. Right. So, gentlemen, what do we think? Is it a healthy place? No, yes. egg and black pudding baps. We've got well, to, we've got to have it a It is bat. Pat's baps after yeah. all, isn't it? Are you Pat by chance? I am indeed. This is this is Pat. Unbelievable. There nice baps we hear. Oh, thank you. Yeah, good, good, good. <laughs> right. So uh, let's have a look. I'm on a health kick, so yeah. I'm going to have an egg and sausage bat, please. Thank you much. I think oh, you're right, Dan. Option. Well, to be fair, there wasn't too much on the healthy options. Check out this. That's a bat, sir. Yes, please. Yeah, it's got to be a bat, isn't it? We can't come what to a, Pat's bat. What about bat. a small portion of chips to go with it? Do you think? Oh, would you like? I think. Yeah, I think. Chip. Chip. Yeah, portion of chips to share? Should we do that? Yeah, I think we should. One. I think we should. Yeah. Excellent. There's would, no cat would you like butter on all of these bats? Oh yes, please. I think butter on your bats is an in thing. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> and what sauce would you like? Oh, Un unsourced for me, please. Yes. Um, I'm going ketchup in my sausage and egg one. Yes. Um, uh, brown. Brown, definitely. Thank you. That's because he's a northerner, you see. This always causes a lot of problems what colour sauce you have on your bat. Apparently, what do you have on bacon? Do you go brown? Brown. It's definitely, definitely red. Fish fingers, red. Well, yeah, I get on red on fish fingers, but not on, not on bacon's not brown. Hey, Dan's got his wallet out. Let's get back. Oh, it could be upsetting. It could be upsetting for everybody. Shall we go for wooden or metal then? Well. Wooden's dry, metal's wet. Let's go wooden then. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> so we just exited Pat's Batch. We don't like to talk too much about them in front of the proprietors themselves, do no, we? That would be indelicate. But we have to say, on first glance, number one, the smell in there is lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, yes, actually, because sometimes it can be a sort of greasy smell, but yeah. it just it smells, smells of freshly appetizing. cooked food. Yeah. And it looks very clean in there as well. It, it looks very clean. And actually, we rode past a little Thai takeaway van, didn't we? On the, we did. Um, we did. That. Which Jeff was tempted, wasn't he? Oh, because that just, the, the, the aromas emanating from there, all yeah. the lemongrass yeah, and, yeah, yeah, and yeah, ginger, yeah. you just, it just. It's trouble, it, nobody me wears up. ties anymore. <laughs> I don't think there was too much of a lemongrass whiff from here, was there? No, no. And my uh, healthy eating thing, I think, as well, to get it. But anyway, so looking forward to this. It's got high, high hopes, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, yes, well, expectations you, you can't are high. Come out on a, on a biker scram and have a healthy option. Look, hanging basket. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at a little biscuit as well. Oh, marvellous. They've That's really. It's a bit upmarket for biking cafes, isn't it? <laughs> it is, isn't it? I'm We've sure got a little market, Italian right? biscuit as well. <laughs> No, we gave up. Uh, well, I gave up being up market when I retired. <laughs> You're not retired already. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a what charmer. a charmer! <laughs> what a charmer! This is going to get high marks, isn't it? This is looking for a top score. Yeah, yeah, looking for a top yeah. tip, I think. Right, the condiments have come and check that out. Look, it's even got a Harley Davidson. I won't say what Jeffrey called them. It's even got a Harley Davidson tin. Really? It's getting better. Your yeah, good man. Look at this. I tell you what, these are catering for us well. Look, they brought us a Kawasaki yeah. tin because I'm on a Kawasaki. A okay, look at that. One look pile of chips. Which of course. Uh, sausage and egg was me. Thank you very much. Look at that beauty. Uh, we'd heard good things about Pat's checkered Baps, but. Look as well. yeah. <laughs> the checkered flag, the Kawasaki tin, the yeah. chips look good. Chip Mountain. I've Chip got mountain. high hopes for this. So we won't be doing the filming while we're eating because that's just uncouth, isn't it, Dan? Yeah, it is. We'll, okay, we'll give some scores afterwards. Yeah. And we're not, we're cooth. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, that's absolutely right. Oh, egg and black pudding. Oh, oh marvellous. Oh, look at this. Black pudding. Look at that. Have you got everything you need? Uh, I think we, we have, have, yeah, Thank more you. than enough. Thank you. Enjoy, shall Thank we? You. If you need anything. Thank you very Thank much. You. Cheers. Look at that. Check out that black pudding. That's looking good, isn't it? That's looking. Now, that's all down you're the black shirt. pudding man, it's Dan. Amazing. How's that look? Looking it looks, good? Yes, I've got a couple of slices of black pudding over a couple of eggs in a soft bat. And it's been, it's got the steak through the heart of it just to make sure it's. <laughs> it ain't going anywhere. It's, it's not, it's not perfect, perfect. perfect. Right, enjoy, gents. Bon appetito. Yes, ain't sparkling. Now, we don't normally go for the eating shot, do we? But I have to say, this is top quality, isn't it? These chips. What do you think of Daniel, the chip man? Crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. It's how you want the chip, isn't it? Perfect. And I have to say, my bat, top quality. It's going to be a high scorer, I can tell. You already said that. I am. Stood I'm, there. No, no, <laughs> stood there. Right, quick add on before we get to the scoring, which is the most important part of the day, because Jeffrey has gone to the dark side. Check this out. What have you got to say yourself, Jeffrey? I've got this chocolate eclair. 
and I've cut it into three bits. Ah. And you think it's because I'm going to give you a bit each. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm going to eat it all myself. It's mine, all mine. And that's the sort of fella he is. Actually, in fairness, me and Dan did say we didn't want an eclair, so you carry on. You feel your arteries go. What do you make of that, Dan? That is not. That's not. That's not a superfood, is it? Not like black pudding. Well, it looks. It, it does look super, doesn't it? <laughs> it does actually. The shoe pastry. Oh, the look, dark look at that. that go thing. on, have a bit. The I can't, I can't sit here and eat it Are all you tempted, myself. Dan? Are you tempted to go do, for it? What do, what do Should we, we just for, for research purposes? We, yeah. Maybe Should we have a half a bit? Half of half. Each. Yes, cut a bit in half. I've got my hands are full. <laughs> Damn, if I'm letting. Don't let, worry up. I'm having the lot. I'm letting myself down now. You, you can have the creamy bit. I've got a bit of seepage around the side. You, so can, you can have the seepy bit. Right, there we go. There we are. Thank you, Jeff. That's <laughs> very kind of you. Look at that. I don't know what I was going to do, and he went, oh, I've got to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely worth it, don't you think? Actually, yeah, it is, it is very good, to be fair. We've made a mess there. Naughty, but nice. As I used to say. The old advertising. Mm. Mm. Don't know what he's talking about. All right. I'm assuming we're all in shot. The sun is so bright now, I can't tell by looking at the little screen on the camera. That's amazing. It's, we're on quite a noisy road, so I hope you can hear us all right. But uh, we're over to scoring, Dan. It's, it's uh, undoubtedly been a successful trip, hasn't it? Oh, yes. Yeah, uh, not only successful, but much to my relief, incredibly good value for money. Uh, what can I say? What do you reckon, uh, Jeff? It's up speechless. Score? Oh, 10 out of 10. Actually, 10 out of 6. Actually, that's that good. <laughs> that, is that the first 10 we've ever had? It certainly is. That's amazing. Dan, score? You always do seven. Yep. Lovely people. Yep. Yep. Lovely chips. Yep. Fantastic black pudding and egg bat. Yep. It's a 10 from Len. Unbelievable. Can it be the triple top? Yes, it can. It's a 10 from me too. Yes, what it is. Oh, that's, uh, that's amazing. <laughs> so who would have thought? I mean, because it doesn't look from the outside, it doesn't look like it's going to be anything particularly special, does it? So it's very noisy here, as I say. No, actually, because it's in a little rank of industrial sort of retail units, isn't it? It's, mm, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's very... Um, but actually, when you get inside, it's nicely it's done. And, and it's got a food hygiene rating. I can see on the door of five. You can't get better than that, can yeah, you? Yeah. So it's a big thumbs up. Yeah, no, So brilliant. this Absolutely becomes our brilliant. benchmark. Yes. I can't remember what our previous benchmark was, but this is it from now. It was the super sausage. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is, yeah, oh, I think this... Super sausage, super sausage well, is good. Turned down by the music. Mm. Mm. This is better than super sausage, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So where are we going next, then, chaps? Well, we want, we want to take you to a garden centre. Oh, yes, a garden. What? Center. As yeah. a matter of policy, I don't usually do garden centres. Do you centers, remember but... what you said? Oh God, no, not a garden exactly, centre. Yes. <laughs> when we got to the Iron Ball. That's so where said. is this garden centre then? What's the plan? It's uh, it's out close to the Bristol Channel. Oh, near Clevedon. Right. So it's quite a day out that one then. It's a proper day out. Right. Mm. Great ride across the Cotswold. Yeah. And uh, a surprising, a surprising venue. Well, the mind boggles. So, so are we going to try and do that before the year's out? An autumnal one? Yeah. Would it work for that? Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. 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 All right. So we'll see you next in an autumnal one. And I wonder if that'll get three tens. Mm. We shall see. We shall see. Stay Start tuned to, to find fly. out. Exactly. <laughs> right. So it's uh, Cheerios to Pat's Baps, the Cotswold Cafe, just outside of Morton in the Marsh. Excellent. We've not had a ten out of ten before. That doesn't happen very often. I thoroughly recommend it if you just fancy some proper bike affair, then uh, this is definitely worth putting on your list if you're coming to the area. Right, Dan is going to lead us part of the way back because he knows the area best. Thank you uh, once again to Jeff and Dan for joining me on a biker scran. Thank you to the people that came and said hello to us while we were eating our baps. Thank you to Pat's Baps and thank you to you for joining us once again on Biker Scrum with Jeff and Dan. We'll get another one in as soon as we can. God, it's all rhyming, this is excellent. Anyway, hopefully uh, you enjoyed that. Look forward to speaking to you again soon. Until then, this has been the Missenden Flyer. Cheerio.